Look at that, folks. You guys see, I am in Shields in Omaha, Nebraska, and we have favorite rods. They're in every Shields location. So if you guys have a Shields around you, if you don't know what Shields is, then this doesn't really apply to you. But if you have a Shields, go in there. We got all the favorite rods. We got John B's, we have Perrick's, we have mine, we have Lunkers, we have everything in Shields right now. So I want to let you guys know, we got to start off the video. I'm going ice fishing with Austin. And we got minnows. We got, we got the minnows ready to rock and roll. So just want to show you guys this. And I have one more surprise for you guys that Shields has. Stay tuned. Ducks, lanyards. They're in Shields. This is only in the Omaha location. You can get these ducks ones here. But they're, uh, they've actually sold about half of the amount that they originally ordered like two weeks ago. So if you guys want a lanyard, we're really behind on lanyards on the website. If you guys want them, they're here in Omaha and you can come pick them up yourself. Get them before they are gone. Two hours later. All right, we are, uh, we are out fishing, folks. And I, I am with Hookin' Hogs TV. Today, we're gonna be Hookin' Hogs on TV. We are ice fishing today, my first ice fishing adventure, and we are gonna be using some handmade tip-ups and some traditional rods. We got some minnows, we got some chubs. Uh, nobody had wax worms, so we don't have any of those, unfortunately, but it's gonna be a fun time. We're at the, uh, the old classic hog pond that uh, I go to a lot during the actual season. So it's gonna be interesting. We're hoping to catch some big bass, big bluegills, big crappie, all that fun stuff. Maybe, oh, we got Austin here too. Forgot to tell you that, we got Austin. He's never caught a bass with the eye, so we're hoping to get him on his first bass ever. It's gonna be fun. You guys stay tuned. Finally all set up, ready to go. Drill a bunch of holes. I'm starting off with a little jig tipped with a minnow. Kind of a big presentation, but I'm out here to catch catch a big old bass. Nobody's had any luck so far. So so far, everybody's just been kind of hopping holes a little bit. I drilled a whole bunch, and uh, I set three tip ups out, and then we've got four other dudes that are going to be fishing, jigging. We're using artificial wax worms and minnows and all sorts of different stuff. So we're going to see if we can catch any bass. Maybe some bluegill, maybe some crappie, but uh, really, really hoping to catch a big old bass. Whoa, homeboy! <laughs> Look at that, first one, baby. First one of 2018. On the jigging first, wrap. On the jigging wrap. On the jigging wrap. Got you were you, he was just telling me there was fish. Yeah. Took the old the old death finder. Hooking hogs. We're hooking hogs on TV hooking now, hogs, baby. baby. Let's go. We got tip up. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Hang on. Nope. What? Came off. How? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, yo, that's Ryan, show me that. Half. Show me that, I go, Ryan. I go, that's a two, three, four. Here, that's your fish. First bass of the day, right here. About a three pounder. On the, on the uh, teardrop. On the teardrop jig. Tip up went off. Uh oh. Hold on. No, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Got I got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, Woo! There we go, crappie. Look at that slab, son. Oh, look at that. Minnow's still alive and kicking. Look at that big old slab right there. Does that look like dinner to you? Good talk. Look at that beaut, folks. My first ice fish of the season. Big old slab crappie. I would take this home, but you know, I'm more of a fan of catch and release. I love eating the fish, but I uh, I would rather catch it again or have somebody else catch it. So we're gonna, we're gonna say goodbye. Bye, Jimmy. Bam, baby! That fell so, oh, the tip up's knocked over down there. That might be a fish. Let's go, let's go. Just grab it and go. Feel him? No. No. Okay. False alarm, folks. False That's alarm. Kind of a waste. Come, you gotta come catch it, Austin. Oh yeah. 
it on? Is it on? Yeah, do you want to catch it? Sure. There. Fish on. There you go. Austin's first ice bass, the possibly. Bass. Possibly. Oh, oh, giant. oh God! Get him out! Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Giant. Your first ice bass That's is a. My PB. Oh, is that your PB bass in general? Easily, easily. All right, don't put him back. Don't. Did he break? Did he break or did it come off? I just took it out. That's a three. No way. That is a fat one. Heck you just yeah. caught your PB, dude. Yeah. What? I was like, oh, I film on there. You want to catch him? Look at that. Look at that guy. First, your first ice bass and PB all oh, in one. Yeah. How's that make you feel? Pretty excited. Look at all that lipstick on him. Oh yeah, you know it's a winter fish when they got lipstick. All right, what are you naming them? Jenny. Jenny. I'll see you later, Jenny. Hell yeah, dude. Here we go. Woo! PB bass. Oh, we on them now, boys. Drop the pulse. That was on a homemade tip-up. Now, if you guys want to know how to make these and me to make a video, drop a like down below and leave a comment. If this video gets a bunch of likes, I'll, I'll show you guys how to make these. They are way better than what you buy at the store. You catch way better fish, way bigger fish, and way more fish. Stay tuned. It's about to get nasty. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's hooked up. Oh, dude, that's a big one, too. nine. Dude, that's at least, at least a nine and a half. Bro. <laughs> Is your drag super loose or is it a Mondo? Yeah, a little bit of both. It's bowl. at least a nine inches though. Oh, she's the guy. Man down. Oh my God, dude. It's a freaking toad. I want to get on film. Dude, homeboy is hooked up with a freaking Mondo. Oh my. Look at this. Look at this. No, 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 no. That was a tank. That was a state record. That is a heartbreaker, folks. When you're using teeny, let me see the jig you're using. Get Look at that, teeny tiny jig. When you're using those small hooks, that's what you risk. There's nothing you can do about it, but other than drop it back down and try to catch them. That was, dude, like you caught what, a three, three and a half earlier? It didn't even run at all like Did that. Did you see it? Like not even close. Like he got a three and a half and he couldn't even bring it in. Like he would crank and it would just take off. Oh, there's giants in here because I'm with Hookin' Hogs TV and we are Hookin' Hogs on TV. A few moments later. Oh man, it's a little, it's a little bit of a grind out here, folks. As you can see, the sun, sun's starting to go down just a little bit. It's getting really cold. I can't even use half of my gear because the line and reels are completely frozen right now. All the holes are freezing about every five minutes. I'm having to walk around and open the holes up. Been kind of a struggle today. It's really, really, really cold. I wasn't actually planning on ice fishing today, but I know I wanted you guys to see some ice fishing and uh, and using these homemade uh, tip-ups and uh, and whatnot, which is good. I mean, Austin caught his BB. It wasn't terrible, but we're uh, we're really hoping for a little Hail Mary action. Look, at, you, get, you get a quick zoom on my bobber here. You guys see that ice? Yeah, see, that's, that's the issue. All the line is completely frozen. That's what we're dealing with right now. They're drilling some holes. We got three tip-ups still out. We're hoping for at least one more fish. Well, folks, Ryan went to another pond across the dam, basically the spillway. I just heard him yell. We're gonna see if he has a fish. You got one? I fell in. Wait, what? I fell in. You fell in? <laughs> Ryan fell into the, he fell into the lake. Look at my boot. Look at this. Homeboy straight fell in. <laughs> you fell in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's why, uh, how, how thick is that? That's like an inch? It was like two inches. How'd you break that then? I stomped on it. You, he stomped on it. So I guess if you guys are going to go explore, you know, water, don't, don't, stomp, don't stomp while you're in the middle of it. Like you can stomp on the edge. He literally goes in the middle and jumps on I wish I was filming, guys. I wasn't, but he is going to die of hypothermia if we don't get back to the truck. So we're going to call it early tonight. Uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, but it was good. You know, Austin, his first time catching a bass through the ice and it was his PB bass, like of all time PB bass, uh, which is actually, you know, pretty incredible. I caught a nice crappie. They got some nice bass. Matt over there, he lost a giant bass. It was a good time, but I know this video is probably going to be a little bit short, so what I'm going to do to make it a little bit longer and a little bit more entertaining for you guys is I'm going to roll some clips of the past year's ice fishing, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Look him right through the lip. A little lively, lively guy there. 
We're gonna drop them on down and see if we can catch us a big one. My tip up fell over. How'd that happen? Oh, dude, there's a fish on it. Oh. Get him. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Dude, get him. It's a big one, too. Stay on. Come on, buddy. Oh, yes. Woohoo, oh, baby. Man, that a boy. Yes, oh, son. That's man. a nice fish. There we go. Yes, son. Look at there, right in the corner. Good thing we came over here. Yeah, it just laying over. I was like, why is that? Why did the tip of it fall over? It's weird. That's there weird. we go. A little healthier looking. Yeah, this guy, he's not a, not a bad little bad little fish there. First fish for me, we've missed about 75 so far, but we're going to get a release. We got another flag, fourth, fourth or fifth flag. Come on, get this one. Get it, baby. Go yes, on. we got him. We actually got a fish on a tip up. Come on, come on. Oh, easy. Him, nice and easy, nice and easy. No bad one. Nice head shakes. Yeah, baby, we got a pass. Oh, heck yeah. That's what we've been looking for this whole time. A little bass like that. There she goes. Nice work. First one on a tip up. We've uh, we've missed like three or four so far. We got one. We got one. It's on now. These flags are going crazy. Still there? No. Oh. Oh. We got a flag. Yep. He's there. He's there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Come on. Don't come off. Yeah, baby, we got a bass. Oh, I've never been so excited to catch a 12 inch bass in my life. Yes, finally, we got a largemouth. So we got the first bass for me of the day on the tip up on the minnow. This is what I came here for. This thing's probably 11, 12 inches, but, but it makes me excited because I'm a bass fisherman. I love catching bass. I've never been so excited to catch a small bass like this in my life, but but we're hopefully we're gonna catch some more. Cause we got, I got like maybe 30, 40 minutes left before I gotta take off. So put this guy back in the water and try to catch another one. I don't know if he's there anymore. Oh, I think he's still taking it. Yep, got him. Yes. Come on, come on. You got another bass, I think. Yeah, buddy. Let's Woo! Smoked him. There we go. That's that's what we want right there. I've got to leave because I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. But we're gonna end end it on a good note. Catching these little little chunk bass. Like I said, they're not big, but hey, I'll take it. It's always fun to catch bass, especially on tip ups. I talked about this in my other video, but catching on tip ups is pretty fun, just because you get to feel them fight in your hands, and it's not it's not like you're fighting them with a rod. You get to feel the tug a little bit more. It's, it's one of my favorite ways to catch them ice fishing. See you later, Marcus.